into it. My name is Desiree Yoga, and I'm here with Amazing Media, and we have the opportunity of covering the CES conference. And now I have the splendid opportunity of speaking with the founders of HydroLoop, who are going to talk more about their water recycling device. device. So first question is, what is HydroLoop and how does it work? HydroLoop is a compact, decentralized water recycling system that we made which can be used in homes, but it can also be used for apartment blocks. It can be used for student flats, for, for commercial buildings. So basically anywhere where people are washing their hands or they're having a shower or they're doing a load of washing, that water, we call that a water source. The system can treat that, clean it. It's not very dirty anyway, disinfect it. And then it is clean, clear and safe. It's also certified and it can be reused again for things that you don't need tap water for. So that is, uh, that is for the toilet flushing, for the washing machine, for garden irrigation and swimming pool. And it, this is my drinking water. Now, it, it looks like this. It is not drinking water. It's not tap water. But you don't need tap water to flush your toilet and all that stuff. So behind me, you see the machines. So we have them in different sizes and we make them to measure and scalable for larger projects. Wow, this is actually amazing. Like when I was reading... Um going through y'all's website and reading the different press releases, I was just so impressed because this one is just so innovative and it's also very needed. So what made you decide to create HydroLoop or thought that it was important, which we clearly see it's water recycling as never thought of and it's obviously very important. So what was the purpose behind it for you? You know, it just came to, I, I'm the co-founder. So there is a founder, Arthur Valkyrie, so he is really the brain of, of the system and I'm the co-founder. Um, but it came to us basically that, you know, and that's already many years ago that, you know, you start to get a bit older and you start to realize that you're not on this planet just for you and there are future generations. And, um, you know, uh, we're not here just to use and, and abuse and waste, but we have to contribute. Um, and so it's like a slow process. And, uh, you know, already I'm, I'm, for example, also I don't eat meat and uh, I do fly. I'm not I'm not a saint. But, um, but water is such a, a tremendous, important resource. And so it, it came to us that why, why are we 21st century still flushing our toilets with tap water? Why are we doing our washing with that? It is so absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, and then, and then you look at, and, and, and so then we, we thought, why isn't anybody doing this? And then we said, we realized, well, maybe we have to do it. And so we just decided to, to, to make a system and we had a few goals because there are some systems on the market, but they are you, mainly bulky, big. They take up a lot of space. They're expensive. They use filters and membranes or chemicals and the filters and membranes, they work, but they always clog because you can imagine dirty water goes through them. So it, it, it gets dirty there. So that means a lot of maintenance uh, and cleaning and extra costs. And that's what we didn't want to do. We wanted to make a consumer product. So what does that have to be? It has to has to look great. Well, I hope we did well. Uh, it it looks has to good. be compact and <laughs> <laughs> it had to be um, it had to be compact in size so that you don't need a shed to go and recycle your water, but that it fits in every house. It had to be um, uh, affordable and it had to be very low on maintenance, meaning no filters or membranes, and also no chemicals because chemicals are used in water treatment, but we didn't want to do that. So basically what we did is that we started to look at all these different treatment, um, treatments that exist for water purification. And we, by trial and error, just started to combine them until we had what we have right now, which is also not just a beautiful box, but we made uh, the, the system work that way, that well, that without the filters, chemicals and membranes, uh, we do create a water quality that is up to the very, very highest standards in the world. And for example, America has a very uh, hard to reach quality standard. It's called the NSF 350. And of course, it is very good that there are standards because it has to be safe. You know, we all want to make sure that if you know that that water that you recycle, that it is safe. But so we are certified for NSF 350. We're also certified for Europe and in other countries. So, um, so that's what we created. A, and it is, it is a self-cleaning, fully automatic system. So when it goes into your home, 
um, it basically has to be turned on and then it connects with the central server because it has to upload its software. It's very high tech. Uh, then it does a little test. It checks with the server that all everything functions well. And thereafter, it just works fully automatic and you needn't do anything except enjoy your life and know that when you take a shower or you wash, you know, you wash your hands or you, you do your load of washing, that that water is cleaned and recycled and used again. And with that, you almost save, you save 45% of tap water usage. You reduce your wastewater with 45%. Uh, you lower your carbon footprint and you also have an energy uh, savings uh, component in it as well. So, um, so this is what we should be doing with 2 billion more people on the planet in the coming 30 years. You know, actually, it's, an, it's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. No, I absolutely agree. I think this is absolutely fascinating. Um, I'm curious. So I know you mentioned that um, it's in European markets and you got trying to push it down to U.S. markets, correct? So what, and where else is it available? Well, the beauty is we're, we're selling everywhere in the world. So we came to market November 2017. And actually, we've been doing a lot of uh, field testing in 2018 and 19. But we have been selling units, you know. So they are in uh, they are in Europe, but they're also like in Namibia, in South Africa, in the Middle East, in Vietnam. So we already have many units out there. And last year at CES, we really had our global launch for the Hydroloop H300, which we you know globally launched then and there. And since then, we well because we won all these awards, of which best of the best at CES which basically meant that, you know, um, our brand and our vision and our mission was catapulted all over the world. And you, you know that water, this is not an issue. This is, this is not like somewhere far away. It's in our backyards. It's in probably in your backyard. It's in mine, but it is in many people. So we have, a, we ha it's amazing. We have a, we created something that is, is, is a global product. So what we do is we have, a whole academy and, and we're even expanding that right now but we have all the training online for plumbers for architects for everybody so that anywhere in the world people can buy a system from us at this moment we're shipping them from the netherlands to them and their local installation company or plumber or whatever will do the preparation will install the system which is basically as simple as a washing machine it's a little bit more work and then thereafter the system is working and and of course that plumber or installer will do the um you know servicing if you know once every two years it does need a little servicing so uh, so it's we sell everywhere we also sell in the in the states um I, i'm i'm very glad to say that this week officially hydroloop inc so our daughter company is established in the u.s we already had an office but now we 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 are yeah we are official <laughs> and uh, Fernando, who is also in this call, is our MD. And uh, we already have one intern and we are hiring some more staff there as well. So everybody interested, hydroloop.com. Um, but uh, we start delivering um, April. I think April this year, we start delivering to the US. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I'm really curious as to figure, like, as to find out where other like best placement like your technology can be used because with it being so revolutionary, I can definitely see it being placed in like third world countries that have trouble with getting clean water in the first place, let alone recycling water. So do you ever see your technologies in those spaces? Yes, yes. You know, um, first, um, we have a few objections, uh, objections, objectives. <laughs> uh, I was like, objections. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any objections. Now, last year, our company got fully funded. And this means that we can really, and we needed that because, you know, we're really scaling up our production. We scale up our, 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 our staff. Um, and uh, also what, with that money, what we're going to do also is basically we're going to uh, make sure that we're going to try and make the product so much cheaper. You know, at this moment in time, to give you an idea, in, in the States, you know, uh, prices start from four thousand dollars, and but this is, um, you know, not including the shipping at the moment. And we're working on getting that really well, a good price for it. But 
you know, uh, we will know in a couple of months time exactly how much that will be from door to door, basically. But the system itself, four thousand um, dollars. Now, we, you know, we have economies of scale. So the more we're going to sell, the cheaper it's going to be. So that is one of them. And, and we're selling a lot more and it's going really well now. The second is that we are still trying to make the system cheaper itself by with the components and everything. So that is a thing. Thirdly, what's going to happen is that, you know, we're shipping a lot of air. I mean, if you look at these systems behind me, they're like a fridge size, you know. So, um, so, so this is not very sustainable. This is what we do at the moment because we have a very nice factory in the Netherlands where we produce them. But the idea is to find partners in other continents so that maybe in Northern or, or, or Middle or Southern America and that we find a partner there, for example, but it can also be in the Middle East or in Australia, so everywhere, and that we then produce them locally, um, which will, again, change the price because of um, the local costs of, of labor. Uh, labor in the Netherlands is, is probably one of the highest uh, in the world, which makes the, uh, makes the whole product uh, more expensive. So that way we can produce them cheaper. Then also, uh, we are also talking to parties that will uh, take our products uh, under private label. So they will, um, you know, so they will be a cheaper version, uh, uh, let's say, of our system as well. And the final point is it will take a couple of years because first we need to do, we need to get a lot of traction. We sell a lot of units, uh, but it is the aim that in about five years time that then we will start also with licensing. And in countries like in India and in Africa, that we will have our systems and maybe a scaled down version. So it's a little uh, less fancy, but, but at least it does a job and that we have it locally produced. And that um, basically, for example, with like a World Bank or somebody like that, and then have it locally produced and just get a license fee. So just get a tiny bit of money. And basically also because, you know, uh, 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 of course, we are a company. Of course, we are selling products. But what we're actually, what we are actually really doing is we are we are busy with uh, proclaiming our mission, and the mission and the vision is that within ten years' time, no new construction should be built without its own decentralized water recycling. Uh, either you know because and and it should become as normal as having solar panels or having a heat pump or having air conditioning. Um, and that's the way we should go. And then this is new construction. And then in the coming 30 years, every building will have an upgrade, a refurbishment, a bathroom or a full building. And that will be the excellent time then also to incorporate the central water recycling. So that, um, you know, so basically that if you're looking at that in 30 years time, 2 billion, 2 billion more people will be on our planet. And there is one resource that we have a finite amount of, and that is water, you know, and the hydrologic cycle has worked for billions of years. It's been fine, but for the last 20 years already, we've been drilling and we've been drilling and we've been getting that, that groundwater up and we're getting, we're getting to the point that it's, you know, we can't drill any more water. So we really have to look at how we can use water far more wise. And that is the whole idea that we have. Every building has a source of water. This is lightly contaminated. It's just your shower water. It's just your hand basin water. It's your washing machine water. You know, it, it's very light. I can, um, I'll, in the meantime, I'll try and look up a, 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 a picture for you to show you how that water looks like because it's really not very dirty. So if instead that goes with the black water from your toilet and if you separate it with your plumbing, and as I say, you do that from the onset, and uh, from when you start building on the left you see the water that goes in Th that's the water we're talking about and then on the right after treatment that's how it comes out now that is perfect for flushing your toilet for your washing machine for your garden and your swimming pool and you know the beauty is that as i'm saying two billion more people on the planet in 30 years time if we don't have oh this is a, <laughs> another picture that i'm showing you oh this is maybe interesting just to show you a little bit how a setup in a house would be so here you have like on the first floor you have a bath and a, and a shower and a, and, a, and a toilet on the lower floor you have like a, a shower and the hydro loop the washing machine and a toilet and a and, a, and like a, a garden rainwater tank and here you can see 
that the water from the first floor, from the bath and the shower, it flows by gravity into the Hyderloop system. And um, the shower on the ground floor uses a little sanitary pump and it goes into the system. And the top part, this is the, this is the treatment part, that's where it gets cleaned and treated. And then it is taken to the lower part, which is the storage part. It gets disinfected then. And from there it serves the washing machine and it serves both the toilets. And if there's anything left, it will serve the, the garden, uh, the rainwater tank. And if we, if, if, you know, if we do this in 30 years time with 2 billion more people on the planet, if we start doing this, we start implementing this and we implement this, then we have more water in 30 years time with 2 billion more people on the planet than we have right now yeah so it's it's it really is uh it really is uh worth our while mm -hmm. i would i would classify it as like a game changer when it comes to um water filtration yeah you you may you may and there isn't anything like it so uh, i think that's why we won says 2020 uh and we you know and i think also for ces i think it is really good um, and they started last year, you know, that they're also now looking at sustainable uh, uh, products because, you know, I was also browsing a little bit. I don't have a lot of time because we're very busy, but I was browsing through, you know, of course, all the new gadgets and everything like that. But a lot of it is, I mean, of course, there's a lot of tech for good, you know, but there's also a lot of stuff that I think it's nice to have, you know, but are we going to, you know, change the planet with that? And the answer is no, it's another gadget. and and you know it, it's not about you know I, I can't say you know don't do that or whatever but i'm really glad that ces last year acknowledged our product uh for what it stands for because it is high tech it's a consumer product but it really matters it is the purpose you know what is it what is it for yeah i definitely agree and now i kind of I kind of like interested in knowing. So I know you guys are really just getting things off the ground and really doing super well from where you guys started. Um, but what can customers expect in the future from Hydroloop? Like what is to come? Okay, well, um, I'd love to go with Elon Musk to Mars <laughs> and get our systems out there too. <laughs> but uh, that's a little bit too far of from where we are now. Now, what we're doing is, well, this, this CES, we came to market and I'll quickly uh, show you on the presentation. Let me just try and find it. So just to show you, this was the Hydroloop H300 that we won all the awards with last year. So this is a family size for four or five people. Um, so, and basically um, now we came out this year with two new products. So this is the H600. It's the double size of the 300. So this is for either families that have a higher uh, level of water consumption or for larger families or for like a small boutique hotel or a small business. But with this one, with the Hydroloop Cascade, you know, now uh, we can do much larger operations. So we can do office buildings, we do student housing. We just did a student flat with 350 students living in there. Uh, we recycle all their water in the basement and it gets reused again for the toilet flushing. And we are saving millions and millions of liters of water. So these are the products that we basically, uh, that we have uh, right this, this moment. And uh, that we came out, those two, the 600 and Cascade, we came out now at CES. That was our global launch again this year. We, uh, we plan end of this year to launch the... Uh, Hydroloop H150. Now, this is the smaller brother of the other one. And basically, we make that because uh, we have many, many, many people living in apartments and they don't have a lot of floor space. So, and they don't need this one because they're only with two, one or two, or maybe a baby or something like that. So, we're making a very, a very small one, but instead of it standing free like this one, we have it integrated with the toilet flushing system, which is in the wall. So it is integrated in the wall and it doesn't take up any floor space. So this is what we hope to come out with end of this year, our new product. And then um, we have a lot more um, ideas. 
uh, but they are a bit too early to talk about at the moment, so I have to be careful <laughs> not to say it. But yeah, we are we we are looking so, but always on the basis of what we created now, the technology, and then use it for other usages as well. And what what else you can expect from us that you can expect to see us many more places um, the coming year. Um, we already are in three continents right this moment. You know we have over. 50 uh, partners already all over the world. If you look on our website, you can see where can you find a Hydeloop partner and you see all these dots. And uh, I, I want that to be used in control. I want that to be all these flickering lights everywhere. Um, but we have to give you an idea. We have at this moment currently 500 potential partners that want to become a partner and we need to screen them and take them to, through the training. Uh, so it's my wish uh, that uh, maybe if we talk in, in, in a year's time or whatever, it, that uh, I, can, I, can tell you, I can tell you a lot more. And what's also very interesting is that I don't know if you've seen the documentary Brave New World, which is featuring on Netflix. Uh, and it has um, um, you know, activist actors in it like Liam Neeson and uh, uh, Jaden Smith and Matt Damon. And this is a documentary that basically paints a picture of all the solutions that already exist in the world to combat uh, the uh, ever increasing water shortage problem that we can implement right now, right today. So there is a future for the next uh, uh, generations. And uh, I'm very proud that, you know, we feature in this as one of the, I think it's 12 solutions uh, in the world. Um, and we are currently uh, looking at another documentary that will be made about us and that will be showing worldwide as well. So that's very cool. Oh, and you we guys are, are doing great. And we're with you. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually taken aback for the lost words of one of y'all's accomplishments. Um, for how long you've already been in business and for the objective of what y'all are doing. I think it's very important um, for society and for the changing of the environment and just for better living yeah. in, in reality. And so on behalf of Amazing Media and CSS, we want to thank you for joining us this afternoon and we hope you have the great success in your future endeavors and hopefully we'll be speaking to you soon. I'd love to. I'd love to. And thank you so much for being able to tell uh, about us and uh, Anybody wants more information? Hydroloop.com. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, please visit hydroloop.com for more information about this innovative technology.